Hi friends, <coughs> I am Dr. N. Pradeep Kumar from Vector Control Research Center, a premier research institution of Indian Council of Medical Research. I am currently working as a senior consultant and had been working on different aspects of vector biology and control of almost all vector bone diseases prevalent in India for a period of about 40 years. Today I am presenting on a talk on the vector bone disease situation in Kerala state. Kerala state is located on the southwestern region of India with a population of about 35 million. It is a small strip of land sandwiched between western Ghats in the eastern side and Arabian Sea on the western side. The state enjoys a tropical climate and receives both rainfall seasons in India with an annual rainfall of about 3000 mm. More than 50% of the uh, area is forested and the population density is also comparatively higher. Kerala state is endemic for many vector borne diseases owing to its unique climate, vegetation, topography and I would describe the disease situation in this presentation. Chikungunya virus. Chikungunya is a single standard RNA virus belonging to the genus alpha virus and is transmitted by Aedes aegypti as well as Aedes albopictus. Kerala was worst affected by this virus during 2006 to 2011 and more than 1 lakh of persons were affected as per official records. A seroprevalence study conducted by Vector Control Research Center indicated 68% of the population in the plantation sector of Kerala was affected by the disease. A mutation into uh, in the enveloped gene of the virus detected during 2007 enabled the virus to multiply and disseminate in the predominant species Aedes albopictus. Also Aedes albopictus was incriminated as the vector species involved in the outbreak during the in Kodiko district. The major breeding sources envisaged were for Aedes albopictus are the accumulations of water in latex collection containers in rubber plantations, leaf axils in pineapple plantations and fallen leaf in arachnid plantations. Dengue. It's a, dengue was first reported from Kerala during 1997 from Kotayam district. Kerala state is hyper endemic for dengue caused by a single strand RNA virus belonging to the genus Flavivirus. All the four serotypes of the virus are in circulation in Kerala state. The major vectors are Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. Kerala contributes about 10% of the infections in all over India. Tiruvannathavaram district is was the worst affected in the state. And during 2017, there was a major outbreak of dengue in Kerala state with about 20,000 cases. This was due to the genetic shift and of the serotype as well as genotype of the virus into Asian genotype of dengue 1. The population in Thirumanathavaram was immunologically named for the virus and it, the, this district was the worst affected one. It has EGT, the vector was recorded as the vector species involved in the outbreak. Filariasis. Kerala was endemic for Nugian filariasis since a century. Bancroftian filariasis was only recorded from uh, urban areas. The transmission of Nugian filariasis was eliminated by from the soil of Kerala by a 10-year technology mission project run by BCRC in the endemic region of Alapura district during 1986 to 1997 following an IBM strategy with the involvement of community organizations. Currently, failure is under elimination stage in the state. During 2006, the prevalence rate was recorded, the prevalence rate reported was 0.01 per 1000 population. Malaria. Kerala was highly endemic for malaria and it, the, uh, malaria was eradicated from the state during 1965. However, since 1975, due to the influx of import case, imported cases and due to the prevalence of anopheles defense in the state, sporadic cases of malaria have been reported. 
Thiruvananthapuram and Kasaragod districts continues to contribute maximum number of cases of malaria in the state. During 2019, National Vector Bond Disease Control Program reported 656 cases of malaria in the state. The state has undertaken a malaria elimination program since 2017. Japanese encephalitis and West Nile virus infections, both these diseases are caused by flavi viruses. Japanese encephalitis have been reported in Alamura district during 1996 and since then sporadic cases have been recorded from Kollam, Thiruvanathapuram, Hoyanad, Palakkad and Kasargo districts. Alapura district was brought under JEL vaccination program during uh, 2008. About 60% of the children were vaccinated. During 2019, 11 confirmed cases of JE was recorded from the state. The vector species involved are Culex Vitnui group of mosquitoes and rarely Mansonia species. Also, 11 cases of West Nile virus was had been reported from Kerala state during 2019. The vector species involved in the transmission of West Nile viruses is yet to be incriminated from the area. Scrub typhus. Scrub typhus is caused by Orientia Sutsukamushi and is on an increasing trend in Kerala. During 2019, 579 cases were recorded with a mortality of 14 cases. Most of the cases, 80% of the cases, has been recorded from Thiruvanathuram district. The vector species involved are thrombocolid mites. However, the species involved in Kerala is yet to be incriminated. Kaisenur forest disease. This zoonotic disease is prevalent in the forest north in the north forest ring areas of Western Ghats in Kerala. The districts affected are Malapuram and Vayanad. Hemophysalis spinigera is the vector which is involved in the transmission. Sporadic cases occur every year. During 2019, 8 cases were reported. Maximum number of cases were recorded during 2015 with about 102 cases and 11 deaths. Unusual death of Langur monkeys and the escape of ticks from, for the, from the same to the environment and encroachment of man to these areas are have been reported as the major causes of these infections. Leishmaniasis. A foci of cutaneous leishmaniasis was reported from the tribal villages of Western Ghats in Kerala state during 2015 with about 12 cases. We characterize the parasite species involved in these infections to be Leishmania donovani. This atypical infection as of donovani are caused by a different strain, more 37 compared to the real infections in northern India, which is caused by more 2 strain. Also, sporadic cases of visceral leishmaniasis have been recorded from different regions in the forest fringe areas of Kerala state. Even though the health indicators are higher in Kerala than the national averages, a lack of Systematic surveillance, disease as well as entomological surveillance, is the major reasons behind the prevalence and increase of vector-borne diseases in Kerala state. ECRC is closely interacting with the health machinery to tackle the increase in vector-borne disease situation, and the present state government is sensitized and they are readily accepting the suggestions offered by VCRC to tackle the vector-borne disease situation in Kerala. Jai Hind.